Do you guys want to show them a uh, so cool. show them a routine? So, do you have any particular dance styles that you like or want to see? We've got Bollywood. We've got. Um, we get down Indian. to the classics, like you know, no, like no, funky no, classics. No. I mean, I do. You know, I mean, just in style. Right. Not music, but we're old when we do it all. Yeah. Do you guys want to do us? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that one. Well, wouldn't that be next? Which one is that? That's the belly dance. Indian. <laughs> like with Beethoven? Oh, no, the, um, it's the it's S, 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 S U oh, with uh, yeah. cash. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, the venue if you want to go to Bollywood. So, no other dance or fitness game has this many international flavors. So, right. we're really, yeah. you know, maximizing the variety um, in terms of, of the different dance styles. So, it really. You know, you just don't get bored very easy. Um, right. And then we have um, our, our tutorial mode, which gives you lots of real-time feedback. If you want to, uh, sign in. Oh, that's all right. Um, it'll give you the, uh, the tutorial mode breaks down the four basic rhythms of Zumba, salsa, merengue, cumbia, and reggaeton, and then the basic steps within that, so. So everything in this game is is derived from Zumba. So all the environments are places where they either have had or are going to have Zumba classes or events. Um, all of the instructors are prominent instructors within the Zumba um, community. Um, even the queuing system, which you'll see the little pink card come up, is queuing like a Zumba instructor would queue, which is giving you a four beat cushion, showing you the four beats of the next section. So they queue on the section as opposed to queuing on every move. Does it have like huge score or anything? Does it... it does. Yeah. It does. So they're going to be earning stars in the star bar on the bottom. So you can see who's better kind of at the end? Uh, yeah. Yes. Can, and at the end, there <laughs> is... And it's my favorite feature. At the end, there's a, uh, you know, you'll get your your statistics. Right, right, right. You see the technique and the calories that you burn and how many stars the best player gets. So there's like a side by side. You better next time. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, because Zumba isn't really a competitive thing, we didn't want to display the score all the way along. It's right. more, you know, the, the stars that you earned are based on the score that you're achieving right. all the way it makes along. makes people feel like. Yeah, yeah, but you're earning stars. And look, this is cooperative and competitive. Because you're earning stars together, the object is to fill up the star bar together. So five each, and then um, that's a good subtle way of getting improvement. What happens if I started to dance? Would I be on the screen? You have to start in the beginning. Uh, you wouldn't be on the screen. There's only uh, two players, but you know we've had lots of dance parties where you know people just get up and start dancing too, and then you get a chance to learn the routine before you get trapped. You know, so. Inevitably, your score is going to be better if you've done a little practice, a little practice, practice run. run. But, but Rory and Lyle, you won't do it. But if um, this was a girl, would two girls come up on the screen? Yeah, so that so you can actually see their silhouettes in the viewpoint. Right. Yeah. Oh. So it would change if it was a girl. Oh, so that's show. Oh, in the viewpoint, that's them. That's them in the viewpoint. Tracking their moves. Yep. But the um, the instructors are tethered to their routines. So, um, you know, every time this routine comes up, you would see this instructor. She has got a couple different outfits. Right, right. Um, but, like, all of the clothing is all Zumba clothing. Um, all of the background dancers are all Zumba instructors that we've worked with on, you know, throughout the process of the game. And what you're seeing with all this camera cutting, um, you're seeing because they're dancing well. If they were not dancing well, you would get a very clear picture of the main dancer, so you could see all of their limbs, so you could see all of their movements. But because they're dancing well, we call them a dynamic difficulty adjustment. Because they're dancing well, they get this sort of music video type feeling and that euphoria state, which you know, visually we're really striving to capture. Like, what does it look like when you've lost yourself in the music? You know, because that's the whole point of Zumba is lose yourself in the music. So right. that's why we're not giving you like a whole lot of like, you know, you're doing this wrong, you're doing this wrong as you're going along, because it's just Zumba's not about getting every move perfectly. 
Yeah. It's really about molding yourself. Having a good time. Dancing. So is Zumba, that stands for, uh, you get into the music? Is that where the name comes from? Um, from? Nowhere. It's just, it's just, they made it up? It's a, yeah, they made it up. They made it up. Made it, up. Made it, up. it sounds very musical. Yeah. Yep. And uh, Beto, Beto has a great scene. We have a lot of uh, behind the scenes videos that you earn. So if you get five stars on a song, you'll unlock a video. And so we've shown all of the instructors um, in their mocap sessions and their scanning sessions and you know, talking about their philosophy as a Zumba instructor and some of the translations of the Spanish songs, like all these little videos. Right. Nice. And, all right. And uh, one of the things that Beto says is, you know, it's music, it's choreography, it's dance, it's culture, it's community, you know, it's fashion. There's not one word for it. It's Zoom.